<clears throat> 70 to 21. Now, you mentioned it after the game also that some people might criticize you a little bit for running it up, scoring that many points, but it isn't that way, especially the way they play defense. Now, explain well, that. First of all, um, you know, reserve players, as long as you substitute, I think reserve players can. Of course, you're always afraid with an explosive attack like they have. But uh, the defenses today dictate what kind of plays you run. And uh, some plays are successful for bigger yardage than others. And uh, when they get up on you, if you don't pass, you might as well run three plays into the line and kick. And so uh, when you're playing against those heavy defenses, you run the risk of big plays, which is what happened. And a point you made, too. The second mm. team kids get in there. You can't go and mm. tell them after all week of practice, well, go see, in and stop. That's right. You practice these things, and you're going to do this against this, and you're going to do this and that. And you're suddenly going to say, now, you buck into the line three times and punt. Now, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the way to do it. But I want to say this, that I believe that uh, this game is not a typical game. And I, I, I don't think that Illinois uh, should be beaten that badly. I don't think we should be winning by that big a margin. Uh, the two teams are not that far apart. And I think the first half indicated that they weren't. And uh, I wouldn't want uh, our team to get overly enthusiastic about a blowout like that, uh, thinking the next two games are going to be similar because they're not. There could very well be a one-point game in there, and of course, uh, maybe uh, worse than that, we could uh, we could get beat. You know, I mean, I uh, I don't understand this football <laughs> we're playing today, <laughs> but it's fun when you win. But uh, it is uh, different. Yeah. Talk to me about Steve Smith. He really has matured, and I think because the defense dictated, has become the audible quarterback checking off right. the line of scrimmage. The guy, the guy who has done a fabulous job with him is Gary Moeller. Um, much of what you saw in there is a result of what uh, Gary had set for Steve in this game. The first touchdown pass to Carter, the draw play for a touchdown. That's all uh, uh, Gary's uh, uh, plays and things that he had set up for Steve to do. And I think he's done a tremendous job bringing this youngster along. Uh, Steve Smith is, is probably as far along in knowledge of the game uh, as any sophomore I've been associated with. And, of course, he's got some physical talent. And when you combine the two, I don't think he's uh, as good as he can be yet. And if he thinks he's good now, he'll probably not get better. So I don't want him to think that he's good. But he is getting better, and uh, we like the way he plays because he gives you a new dimension. He can run, he can pass, uh, strong. Uh, he can do a lot of things. And he's good to have in the lineup. But Michigan faces another aerial circus next week. And we'll be right back to take a look at Purdue after this. Once again, Michigan must face a tremendous passer, a tremendous passing attack. And isn't it an, is it an advantage that you face Tony Easton of Illinois and then the next week go right into the same kind of thing. Are they similar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're similar. And um, that's what uh, makes it tough. Uh, Campbell is a great drawer. And, and Steve Bryant, their uh, wide receiver, is he may end up being the most dangerous guy we've played uh, all year. Um, he can run great routes, and they run him from scrimmage. And, and uh, he's got a great target in that youngster. And um, Jimmy Smith, their tailback, is as fine a runner as there is around. Purdue has all the guns to score a lot of points and, um, and, uh, and throw the ball and do all those things. And uh, it's going to be another challenge, Jim. There's no question about it. From the frying pan into the fire. Well, that's the way I look at it. And of course, playing at Lafayette is always tough. Uh, the last time we were down there, you know, we lost. And uh, so we've got to be ready. If, we, if we're not ready to, if we don't improve, uh, this week it could be tough. We'll be back of course next week with the Purdue game But thanks for joining us this week. We'll wait till next week. See what happens on here right here on Michigan replay